Is it wrong to date more than one woman at a time? Of course not. Hi there, men's dating coach Harry Wilmington here, founder of introvertdatingsuccess.com, and today you're going to learn why not only is it okay for you to date multiple women, but how it can actually increase their interest in you even faster. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified of new videos. Also, check out the website to download my free ebook, Texting Like a Boss, which gives you helpful tips on attracting women with your phone the right way. And now, let's check out that clip. His question was this. He said, I've been on two dates with a girl from Tinder who I really, really like. Uh, we haven't had any exclusivity talk or anything. I matched with another girl the day after my first date with the first girl. And I've never had such chemistry, at least over text. So I'd be sad to miss out on at least giving her a chance. Uh, but I know that if the second girl is not for me, I'd like to get together with the first girl. Is that bad? Should I just end it with one of them already without having met the second one? And then he says, Jeff, just for information, all corona rules are being followed. Uh, we don't have any cases in my area, and therefore uh, we're allowed to be intimate with dates. I do kind of want to address one part of your thing, though, where he says, um, I've never had such chemistry with somebody over text. Texting is not the best way to determine if you have full feelings for somebody. Like texting feels great and when they're, you know, sending back happy emojis and LOLs, it can feel like, oh, this is really building. But until you meet them in person, until you actually have time to see their visual cues and see how they smell and see how they interact with you and other people around them, you might be feeling the starts of something, but like that full chemistry is not gonna really be there until you actually like, you know, meet them in person and talk, okay? So anyway, but in answer to the question in general, when you are matching with people online and inevitably what's gonna happen is you're gonna meet that first person that actually gels well with you and you're able to talk to them, you're sending them messages, they're sending messages back, you're asking them questions, uh, they're asking you questions, and you finally say, hey, let's go on a date, and they actually agree to it, and then you meet them in person and everything's going just swimmingly. Like you're having the best conversation ever. The, everything's flowing well. She might have offered to pay for part of the meal. Like she, you know, possibly gave you a kiss at the end of it and said she wants to see you another time. So all this will feel great. And then you go back to your, to your uh, app and you find there's another match there. And now all of a sudden you start to feel guilty. And you feel guilty because once we have a good match and a couple of good dates, we're typically like, already ready to go. So now you're trying to fight that feeling with the feeling of like, A, she's not realistically there yet. And now there's this other person that's coming in that is also expressing interest. And that can cause you to feel like you're already cheating on this other girl that you're not actually in a relationship with yet. And I have to stress that you are not actually in a relationship with her yet. You've gone on one date, you've spent two to three hours with her. So that is not enough time to have an established relationship. But as a guy, it can feel like that. And then combine that with being an introvert where it's kind of like you already don't really want to be using so much energy to have to meet new people. Like it's already enough energy to meet one new person and try to start a new conversation with them. And then to like, you know, ask about their likes and their dislikes and then take that one person out. And then it's like, so you do all that, you, you spend energy doing that. And now there's another girl that comes along and you gotta start that whole process over again with this new girl while trying to spend energy for a second date with the other girl you just saw. Like I can understand how that could seem like it's a lot to deal with, okay? But here are some tried and true rules of the game that you should follow when you're on these dating apps because I want you to have the best possible chance and I don't want you to jump the gun and move too fast and or possibly miss out on somebody that could actually be a long-term match for you, okay? So here is the first one, is that until any woman that you were dating comes to you and starts asking questions that indicate that she wants commitment, you are fair to date as many people as you want. And that, that's, that goes true for her too. So you can't be a hypocrite, okay? Dates are not commitments. Dates are not marriage proposals. Dates are not anything that, that, that says that you guys are serious right away, okay? Dates are inquiries into a person to decide if that is a person that you want to see or not and possibly see a future with. And you're not going to be able to determine that off of just one date. And for all those people that are watching this that are like, well, what about love at first sight? And what about those couples that say they met each other and then just they knew it was with? Again, on this show, we talk about probability 
And the probability of you being that person with this person is very, very slim. My mom says that, you know, my, my mom and my dad, when they met, like she knew from date one, quote unquote, that, oh, he was going to, I just saw him as my husband or whatever. But they still went on four dates before they had their first kiss. And, you know, even after that, he still like made sure to take his time getting to know her before those kind of decisions were made. Because there is a, there's a method to the madness. There's a process that has to be followed that you want to make sure that you're going to do things that are going to best solidify her decision that you are the right person. And that doesn't typically happen off of just one date. Okay. So while you're trying to figure this one girl out, you need to be seeing other women because you may find that there are other women out there that match better, or you may find this girl that you're, this first girl, might be good for the first two or three dates, but then on date four, she does something that, that's not that great, or she you learn something about her past or how she is that you realize, oh, this actually is not the perfect fit for me. I'm glad I have these two or three other girls to also date to see if maybe they are going to work better instead, okay? So get out of your head that you got to be loyal to one girl that you just started seeing, because the, and also to the fact, um, this actually goes to uh, number rule number two, which is that most women understand this rule. Most women assume if you're on a dating app that you're probably dating more than one woman. Now, why do they think that? I bet you've never thought about this. Why do they think that? Why are they already in the headspace thinking that you are probably seeing more than one, more than just her? Well, because their dating experience on dating apps is different than ours. For every 10 matches we get, they probably got like a hundred. Okay. So they're looking at their inbox and thinking to themselves, man, I got like all these matches. So clearly guys must also be getting the same amount of matches. So I must clearly not be the only one he's seeing. Now they don't know our experience. They don't know that we could be the best looking guy in the world and still probably get a fraction of matches. Okay. But so because they're coming at us with how their experiences is, they're not going to assume off that first date that, that, that you've automatically picked them. They're going to assume just like them that you have tons of options and you're taking your time and you're trying to go through all these dates to hopefully pick her. So she's essentially put herself into a contest to win you over. Let her be in that contest, okay? Let her think that you're seeing a bunch of people, even if, even if you're not, have that energy going out that you are leaving yourself open to that possibility, all right? The third thing that I said is that, uh, this th that said, this does not mean you have to voluntarily tell women that you're dating other people, okay? And there's this quote my friend used to tell me from, it was from the Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's something to the effect of like, uh, don't deny a woman the gift of her fantasy or something like that. Basically, it means like whatever fantasy or ideal she has going on in her head as it pertains to you, just let her think that. So if she thinks that you're seeing other people, then you don't need to correct her on that. Now, with that said, if she thinks it and she's not coming to you asking, then there's no need for you to volunteer that information because we're also not trying to do a thing where we're putting in front of her face, hey, I'm seeing like four or five other girls, okay? Let her get the idea that that's happening but don't directly, you don't directly have to say it to her. Now, if she asks you, it's like, hey, are you seeing other people? I typically would say like, are you sure you want to know that? Because I always let people know in advance, like, this might not be information you actually want to hear. So I'm giving you a chance to back out. And some women will say, nah, never mind, I'm good. But some women will say, no, I want to know, are you seeing other people? And then I would just say, well, right now we're still just dating. So at the moment, I'm open to the idea of seeing other people, just like I'm open to seeing you. Now, if that should change, if we have a conversation about that later, that's a different story. But for right now, it is what it is. And that's about as explicit as you need to get with it. Women will infer, so they're great at inferring things and reading reading into language what your deeper meaning is. So you don't have to explicitly say you're seeing other women for her to get that you're probably seeing other women or, or at least open to that, okay? So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is you should not be even thinking about committing to a woman so soon, okay? Because typically what happens is the faster you try to lock a girl down and make her your end-all be-all, the more often she feels like it's being forced, like it's almost like not her choice. And once she starts thinking that you're impeding upon her free will, that's when she's going to start feeling less for you because now it's like that thing of, oh, you're coming on too strong. You're making me have to make a decision right now when I'm not there yet. And as I said before, women typically take a little bit longer to really solidify their feelings on average two to three months. So after a couple of dates, guess what? In, in most cases, she's not there yet. And that's good news for you because that gives you time to date other women and see if other women might be a better fit, you know? But yeah, don't, don't do that thing that guys do after the second or third date where they're like, so it's been a couple of good dates. So what are your feelings about me? And how do you feel in this? Like, you're, you're going to lose out. Okay. Be patient with the process. Give it time. So that's the fourth thing I would say. 
The fifth thing I would say, oh, like I said, the fifth thing, the, for, the, for best results, get the idea of commitment out of your head for the first 90 days. And it's funny because, you know, Steve Harvey has a book out where he tells women, you know, they need to wait, make a man wait 90 days for the physical aspect of the relationship. Well, I'm telling you, women are going after the relationship aspect. So you need to make them wait 90 days before those conversations are even had. And you should not be the one bringing them up. They're going to be the ones around like month two that are like, hey, so what are we? What's going on, et cetera? And when that happens, that lets you know that she's ready. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to automatically say, yeah, we should be in a relationship. If it's like month, if it's only like the end of month two and you're still kind of filling things out, be able to say, hey, you know what? I'm still just trying to feel things out and I want to make sure this is where I want to be. So we should just take a little more time. And honestly, that'll make them like, (laughs) <laughs> that that's where you get into the whole thing of like them chasing you and stuff like that because now it's like oh now they have to feel like they got to do more to get into a relationship with you versus you having to do all this work to try to get her so yeah just keep in mind that that's going to happen all right and the sixth thing again i can't stress enough rule number one which is until they come to you and start asking those questions you are fair to date whoever, okay? It's a good practice to get into. I know it can be a lot of work as an introvert. The idea of trying to date multiple people and seeing all these people is like going to be a lot. And that's not to say you even have to do that. But again, you need to give off the energy that that is the thing you can actually do. Because it's not so much that you got to date four or five girls in order to distract yourself from this one girl that you really want. But it's the matter of you need to be detached to the outcome. And for a lot of you guys out there that are, that are just starting this whole thing, that's a very hard thing to do if you don't have extra distractions. I'm at the point now where I can be seeing just one girl and I can like focus just on her, but still do things that make it feel like I'm not just focusing on her. Like, you know, the whole calling, you know, between dates, like calling four or five days after the first date and not texting her so much. I can do those things with just one person and be fine. But I've, I've had practice at that. For those of you that are starting, it behooves you to get out there and not just find one match and say, that's it, I'm good. Find multiple matches, okay? Because each date you go on is going to bring different things to the table, and you're going to find some bring more to the table that you like, and others that you initially thought you liked are going to just kind of go to the wayside, all right? Now that you've heard from me, I'd like to hear from you. Have you dated multiple women before? And if so, what was your experience? If you're watching on YouTube, leave your comments below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. Are you ready to learn how to attract women via texting? Go to introvertdatingsuccess.com right now to download my free ebook, Texting Like a Boss, which will give you the secret do's and don'ts of attracting women with your messages the smart way. If you like this video, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and click the little bell icon to be notified about future videos. Also, catch the live version of this show on protestparty.tv every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. West Coast time to join in on the chat. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.